Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the very first EAC JZ Insights episode. In this section, we will be bringing to you the different experts behind the cooperation between the East African community and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ. We'd also love to hear from you. Therefore, feel free to send in questions and opinions using the hashtag EACJZ Insights. As you may be aware, the cooperation between the EAC and GIZ spans across eight different sectors. Today, we have an expert from the gender, community development, and civil society sector. Joy Sabalo is the senior advisor working with GIZ under the IDEA project. Joyce, to start us off, what is IDEA? Yes, IDEA stands for the Incubator for Integration and Development in East Africa. It is the brainchild of the East African Community Secretariat in collaboration with the Regional Dialogue Committee with the financial support from GIZ ESC program. Now, IDEA supports or incubates small scale regional integration projects which are proposed and implemented by civil society, private sector, and other interest groups in East Africa. IDEA provides financial and technical advisory and promotional support to these projects which are proposed by private sector and civil society. So far, the reason why IDEA has been initiated was that the East African community being the fastest growing regional economic community in the world and the continent in Africa, it's still most of its members or citizens are unaware of the opportunities and benefits that accrue from this regional integration. Therefore, IDEA provides the platform for citizens to derive and influence uh, the integration process from a tangible or exemplary perspective. Thank you, thank you. You mentioned uh, the six East African countries and uh, just uh, back to the viewer, just to remind you, if you're following us on any of our platforms, feel free to send in your questions or opinions using the hashtag EACJZ Insights. Uh, maybe just to uh, drive that point uh, home, uh, you mentioned uh, the, the COVID-19 crisis that's uh, prevailing globally and uh, there is definitely the idea partners. It's a cross-border uh, initiative. Maybe yeah. would you mention uh, how the partners that you've mentioned, maybe there are others, how are they affected by the lockdown and how have they specifically reacted in terms of implementing the projects and if there's any health-related project that is providing information to citizens in East Africa? Yeah, thank you. Uh, as you are aware that we, because of the lockdown and the nature of IDEA project that requires that our partners implement projects minimally across two countries. So with the restriction and the lockdown, that means that most of the partners are not able to physically interact with the partners in another partner state and that they are not able to physically convene uh, physical meetings, workshops, trainings to their beneficiaries and they are not able to physically deliver products and services which we are promoting them to market across East Africa for, for consumption of the citizens. So this has impacted these idea partners greatly. And to that, they have responded some who are uh, prepared to digitally launch their project, to digitally conduct uh, virtual meetings and workshops to the target beneficiaries and all individually lobby for the partners that they intend to work with. This has worked well and we thank them for being very proactive to adapting to this situation. Now, returning to health projects, we do have uh, idea support. Uh, some of the health projects. We have a health project in Rwanda, which is facilitating uh, e health for Tanzanian and Rwanda citizens. This is in the pipeline, and uh, I think this would be very timely for uh, as a response to COVID-19. But specifically right now, I would like to talk about the Eastern African National Network of Aid Services Organizations, the ANASO platform, which, is, which has mapped uh, geo-mapped health services across borders and put information and update on coronavirus in East Africa. Therefore, East Africans across borders in those health facilities map, they are able to determine which facilities is providing COVID-19 treatment 
and or nearby uh, hospitals which they can seek health services in this current situation. So this uh, initiative uh, from the idea partners come in handy and we thank Ianaso. As I talk right now, they are organizing a webinar on how to encourage citizens of East Africa to access these services. So this is timely and we allude them for, uh, for this uh, intervention and innovation. Thank you so much. Maybe as we wrap it up, if you could speak about the civil society organizations in East Africa. Uh, one, even during this lockdown, are you seeing their ingenuity and hard work even as they go through this difficult period? And two, do you have that faith that uh, the ingenuity of the East African citizens is going to prevail? Yeah, uh, East Africans uh, or civil society organization has always been very proactive in their response to any crisis. They have always been alert and they always adapt uh, immediately to the changing situation. We have seen so many civil society come up. Right now, I've just come from one of our idea partner organizing a webinar on how the COVID-19 is impacting on the continental trade, regional and continental trade. This is a civil society organization that shows that they're adapting to the situation. They are looking for solution on how the, the, the impact of COVID can restrict trade and how civil society can contribute in terms of uh, government policies. We have seen some of idea partners who are civil society already providing uh, a, a temporary solutions by establishing online platform e-commerce for women in business across borders. This is a temporary situation and I know it will come to an end. So the fact that they are providing this, that means that they are inventing and trying to see how their stakeholders and actively be engaged and continued with trade during this COVID-19. I salute BASE for Education for coming up with this idea, and we look forward to moving with them through this work to ensure that the e-commerce platform for women doing cross-border trade between Kenya and Tanzania is put and is up and running. We thank uh, Eastern African National Networks for also putting that uh, platform for health. We thank, uh, what do we call, we thank, uh, the Uganda Tourism Association for coming up with an online platform for, for marketing crafts uh, in East Africa so that people can actually pledge order and they receive uh, cultural uh, goods from East Africa. These are some of the great interventions that are coming up. But I would like to also salute the different innovations that are coming up from the region. We have Rwanda coming up with a very important initiative of uh, uh, producing drones that can supply uh, medical supplies to different areas of Rwanda. We have Kenya manufacturers, uh, uh, private sector coming up, uh, uh, averting their original plan of producing textile uh, products and going forward to produce medical and protective gears for facilitating the curbing of COVID-19. These are great minds. These are great innovations that East Africa, not only civil society, but private sector and other individuals are coming up. Now we have individual citizens coming up with masks. They are producing masks. These are essential items that we need. And this can help to cut down the spread of coronavirus. I am one of the beneficiaries. I just bought a mask that has been produced by a local SMEs in Tanzania, a common one inch in Tanzania. So this shows that the Africa has great minds. Africa, uh, East Africa has great uh, originality, great innovations, and we need to steer this up. I am a firm believer that when people are locked down, this is the time people can be seen creatively to get out of a, a crisis because being in a crisis situation is a very uncomfortable situation anybody can be in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been having Joyce Sabalo, who is the senior advisor for the IDEA program. The IDEA program is one of the cooperation areas between EAC and GIZ. We appreciate your time. Kindly feel free to follow and even send more questions or suggestions using the hashtag EACJZ Insights. Till next time, bye bye.